How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tip for you guys. Uh, something I actually didn't discover until relatively recently, not that long ago, is the timeline select tool. I don't really know what to call it. That's just what I call it. Um, but basically what it allows you to do is select a portion of the timeline and do things with it. So what we have here is just a basic little animation I threw together of a creeper turns around and kind of sups us sup like that all right so obviously this is the full animation where he just walks over he stops and turns and he does his little thing and yeah but uh let's say i'm working on something or let's say if i'm rendering the animation and i want to break it up into two parts or something then what i can do is actually right click here on the timeline on the numbers here and i drag it and you get this little highlight and uh what you'll notice when you let me see if I put the cursor there when I play it it plays the whole thing but if I turn on loop then what we get is a loop of just this section and that helps us to kind of uh, see what's going on just in that little part and when we render it uh, I haven't tested this thoroughly but I did use it once and it worked so hopefully it'll work for you if you try it but if I go up here to this button and I just like, ah, I'm ready to render my animation. Well, I click save and it will only render what is in this highlighted field. All right. Not 100% guaranteed. I tried it and it worked, but I've only done it like once. But uh, yeah, it's really good for looping animation so you can see what you're doing and uh, kind of perfect things. And I just right click anywhere in it to uh, get rid of it. So I could do that and then just right click and it goes away. Uh, this can be particularly useful. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of our creeper. If I wanted to make a, uh, let's say I'm, I'm working on a walk cycle and I have several different things. Like let's say, you know, I've only brought Steve in way later in the animation and I'm trying to analyze his walk and uh, how it's looking. Well, instead of having to sit here and like watch the animation over and over let's actually go ahead and give him uh, a little bit of a movement i'm just gonna do a very very basic uh walk cycle thing here so we're gonna do like this give him some opposite poses something like that and like that and yeah that looks like one hell of a walk cycle all right so what we've got here is our opposite poses and i basically just had them going you know just opposite of each other like this would be in any typical walk cycle. And uh, what I would do here, instead of having to just play it and it stops and I bring it back, or if I hit pause and the, and the cursor goes back further than I want to, it can be really clunky and cause a lot of problems uh, and just really slow down your workflow, right? Uh, and also, I don't wanna have to sit here and keep copy pasting my keyframes out to make this last longer so I can see how it works. Uh, and I obviously don't wanna move this around on the timeline if I've already done a bunch of animating. So all I have to do is highlight the section that I want and voila let's go ahead and bring that over you can also left like get here where it says or shows these little arrows and left click and drag them out and around and perfect it you don't have to get it right the first time and then feel like you have to start over so there's that uh, and what I can do turn on looping let's go ahead and deselect it so we can see what Steve's doing and we get just a complete repeat of this walk cycle and uh have it loop and see what things look like without having to sit there and copy paste keyframes out over and over or watch unnecessary parts of the animation while you're trying to perfect one little tiny part of it and whatnot and again like i said you can also use this to render out certain parts of your animation uh so that way uh, it can come in handy there are very various reasons you would want to do that all right, guys, so that's it. That's another little Minimator tip for you guys. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that uh, is a revolutionary to some of you like it was for me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you in the next video.